Lockheed Martin Space is one of the four major business divisions of Lockheed Martin. It has its headquarters in Denver, Colorado with additional sites in Sunnyvale, California, Santa Cruz, California, Huntsville, Alabama, and elsewhere in the U.S. and U.K. The division currently employs about 16,000 people, and its most notable products are commercial and military satellites, space probes, missile defense systems, NASA's Orion multipurpose crew vehicle, and the Space Shuttle external tank. Topic history The Lockheed Missile Systems Division was established in Van Nuys, CA, in late 1953 to consolidate work on the Lockheed X-17 and X-7. The X-17 was a three-stage solid-fuel research rocket designed to test the effects of high Mach atmospheric re-entry. The X-17 was also used as the booster for the Operation Argus series of three high-altitude nuclear tests conducted in the South Atlantic in 1958. The Lockheed X-7 dubbed the «flying stove pipe» was an American unmanned test bed of the 1950s for ramjet engines and missile guidance technology. Lockheed Missiles Division moved from Van Nuys, CA, to the newly constructed Palo Alto, California, facility in 1956, then to the larger Sunnyvale facility in 1957. The Polaris missile was the first major new program for both locations, followed later by satellite programs, thus, the name changed to Lockheed Missiles and Space Division. The UGM-27 Polaris was a submarine-launched ballistic missile SLBM built during the Cold War by Lockheed Missiles and Space Division in Sunnyvale, California, for the United States Navy. The Polaris program started development in 1956, with its first flight test in 1958. In 1962, the USS Ethan Allen successfully fired a Polaris A-1 missile against a test target in 1960. The SLBM has evolved through Polaris A-2, Polaris A-3, Poseidon C-3, Trident I C-4, and ongoing with today's Trident II D-5. All of these were designed and managed at the Sunnyvale, California facility. Together, these are known as the Navy's Fleet Ballistic Missile FBM program. Lockheed Martin has been the sole provider of FBM missiles since 1956. Lockheed Missiles and Space became prime contractor for elements of Military Satellite System WS-117L, calling for the development of a strategic satellite system. The core element was Lockheed's Agena spacecraft, the world's first multipurpose spacecraft with boost and maneuvering engines, also acting as the second stage of the launch vehicle and or carrier vehicle for the reconnaissance system. WS-117L and Agena lead to the development of the Corona satellite, the nation's first photo-reconnaissance satellite system, collecting both intelligence and mapping imagery from August 1960 until May 1972. Over 800,000 images were taken from space, with imaging resolution originally equaling 8 meters, later improved to 2 meters. The program was declassified in February 1995. Approximately 365 Agena spacecraft supported a wide variety of missions, from NASA's early interplanetary efforts, to the U.S. Navy's CSAT, the USAF's Corona, Midas and Samos series between January 1959 and February 1987, when the last Agena-D was launched. 
the Corona program lead to the development of the Gambit and Hexagon programs. The first Gambit system, launched in 1963, was equipped with a 77-inch focal-length camera system. The second system, Gambit 3 was equipped with the camera system that included a 175-inch focal-length camera. The system was first launched in 1966 and provided the U.S. with exquisite surveillance capabilities from space for nearly two decades. Hexagon was first launched in 1971 to improve upon Corona's capability to image broad denied areas for threats to the United States. Twelve of the 19 systems flown also carried a mapping camera to aid in U.S. military war planning. In addition, Gambit and Hexagon were launched aboard rockets built by Lockheed Martin Heritage Companies. Gambit 1 was launched on an Atlas rocket with the orbiting Agena D upper stage and Gambit 3 was launched using a Titan 3B booster. Hexagon was launched aboard the larger Titan 3D rocket. Lockheed achieved the first ever hit to kill of an ICBM re-entry vehicle in 1984 with the homing overlay experiment, using the Kinetic Kill Vehicle KKV force of impact alone to destroy a mock warhead outside the Earth's atmosphere. The KKV was equipped with an infrared seeker, guidance electronics and a propulsion system. Once in space, the KKV could extend a folded structure similar to an umbrella skeleton of 4 meters (13 feet) diameter to enhance its effective cross section. This device would destroy the Minuteman RV with a closing speed of about 20,000 feet per second at an altitude of more than 100 miles. Further testing produced the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense weapon system, the Medium Extended Air Defense System and the Multiple Kill Vehicle The Titan I was the first version of the Titan family of rockets, first developed in October 1955, when the U.S. Air Force awarded the then Martin Company in Denver, Colorado, a contract to build an Intercontinental Ballistic Missile It was the United States' first two-stage rocket and formed an integral part of their strategic deterrent force. In the early 1960s the rocket was adapted to launch the Gemini capsule that carried two people at a time into space. Titan succeeded in launching 12 Gemini spacecraft and has also helped to launch the Viking missions to Mars, Voyager I and II and most recently Cassini to Saturn. It began as a backup ICBM project in case the Atlas was delayed. It was a two-stage rocket powered by RP-1 and LOX. The Titan I and Atlas ICBMs using RP-1, LOX fuel did not have a quick launch sequence. They took about 30 minutes to fuel up and fire. Most Titan rockets were derivatives of the Titan II ICBM. The Titan II ICBM had one W-53 warhead with a 9 megaton yield, making it the most powerful ICBM on standby in the U.S. nuclear arsenal. The Titan III was a modified Titan II with optional solid rocket boosters. It was developed by the U.S. Air Force as a heavy-lift satellite launcher to be used mainly to launch U.S. military payloads such as DSP Early Warning, Intelligence Spy, and Defense Communications Satellites. The Titan IV is a stretched Titan III with non-optional solid rocket boosters. It could be launched either with the Centaur upper stage, with the IUS inertial upper stage, or without any upper stage. 
it was almost exclusively used to launch U.S. military payloads, though it was also used to launch NASA's Cassini probe to Saturn in 1997. Topic: <laughs> Mergers and acquisitions. RCA Astro Electronics, a division of RCA, was formed in the late 1950s and went on to become one of the leading American manufacturers of satellites and other space systems, including the world's first weather satellite, Tyros, launched in 1960. The spacecraft design and manufacturing facility was located in East Windsor, New Jersey. In 1985, two members of the Astro Electronics engineering staff, Bob Sinker and Gerard Magilton, were selected to train as NASA payload specialists for the Space Shuttle Columbia mission designated as STS 61C. The primary goal of the flight was to deliver a communications satellite, RCA Americom's SATCOM Ku-1, designed and built at the Astro Electronics facility, into orbit. Senker was selected as a member of the flight crew, and Magilton was assigned as the backup. When Columbia launched on January 12, 1986, Bob Sinker became RCA Astro Electronics' first astronaut. Following the destruction of Space Shuttle Challenger with the next shuttle mission, civilian payload specialists were excluded from flying shuttle missions until 1990. By that time, RCA had been purchased by General Electric, and RCA Astro Electronics became part of GE. As a result, Sinker was the only RCA Astro Electronics employee, and only employee in the history of the facility under all of its subsequent names, to ever fly in space. The facility operated as GE Astro Space until it was sold to Martin Marietta in 1993. Then in 1995 it became part of the newly named Lockheed Martin following the Martin Marietta merger with the Lockheed. Soon after the merger, Lockheed Martin announced that the New Jersey facility would be closed. The New Jersey facility completed work on the in-process projects over the next few years, transferring the majority of work to other Lockheed Martin facilities, including the Heritage Lockheed facility in Sunnyvale, California, and a newly built facility in Newtown, PA. The facility that began as RCA Astro Electronics closed for good in 1998. Lockheed Martin Space Systems is now headquartered in Denver, but still does considerable operations from Sunnyvale. Also located near Sunnyvale is the main office of Lockheed Martin's Space Research and Development Group, the Advanced Technology Center ATC, formerly the Lockheed Palo Alto Research Laboratory LPARL. On August 31, 2006, NASA selected Lockheed Martin Corp., based in Bethesda, Maryland, as the prime contractor to design, develop, and build Orion, America's spacecraft for a new generation of explorers. As of May 21, 2011, the name was changed to the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle MPCV, being developed for crewed missions to an asteroid and then to Mars. The capsule is also planned as a backup vehicle for cargo and crewed missions to the International Space Station. It will be launched by the Space Launch System. In November 2010, Lockheed Martin Space Systems was selected by NASA for consideration for potential contract awards for heavy lift launch vehicle system concepts, and propulsion technologies. 
In June 2014, the company was contracted by the United States Air Force on a fixed price basis to build the fifth and sixth geosynchronous Earth orbit (GEO) satellites, known as GEO-5 and GEO-6, for the space-based infrared system at a cost of $1.86 billion. In June 2015, Lockheed Martin announced plans to expand its workforce at Cape Canaveral, Florida in order to support the U.S. Navy's Trident 2D-5 fleet ballistic missile program. Topic lines of business Space Systems comprises five lines of business LOBS. Each of these is a P&L profit and loss center focused on a set of specific customers and related products. Each lob is led by a vice president and general manager. Topic Civil Space Vice President and GM, Lisa Callahan Customers, NASA, NOAA, International Space Agency's Products, Earth Observation, Exploration and Human Spaceflight Systems NASA's Orion Constellation Program Crew Exploration Vehicle NOAA's Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite GOES -R, Weather Satellite Series NASA's MAVEN NASA's Juno NASA's Osiris Rex NASA's Insight Topic Heritage Programs The NASA Space Shuttle External Tank NASA's Hubble Space Telescope a former Lockheed project NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope a former Lockheed project NASA's Lunar Prospector, a former Lockheed project. NASA's Gravity Probe B, a former Lockheed project. NASA's Gravity Recovery and Interior Laboratory, Grail. NASA's Landsat 7, a former Lockheed project. NOAA's Tyros, or Television Infrared Observation Satellite. NASA's Phoenix Lander NASA's Mars Odyssey NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter NASA's Mars Global Surveyor Topic Commercial Space Vice President and GM, Lisa Callahan Customers, Various U.S. and Foreign Commercial Entities Products, Communication and Earth Observation Satellites Design and Production of Modernized A2100 Commercial Geosynchronous Satellites Arabsat 6A Helos Sat 4, SAUDIGEO SAT 1 Worldview 4 JC SAT 17 Topic Military Space Vice President and GM, Jeffrey Smith Customers, USAF, U.S. Navy, DARPA, Allied Military Agencies Products, Surveillance, Early Warning and Navigation Satellites SBIRS Space-Based Infrared System GPS-3 MUOS Mobile User Objective System AEHF Advanced Extremely High Frequency Topic: Heritage Programs. GPSIIR, Milstar, DMSP Defense Meteorological Satellite Program. Topic: Mission Solutions Vice President and GM, Maria Demarie Customers, USAF, U.S. Navy. DARPA, Allied Government Agencies, Commercial Satellite Operators Products, Satellite Ground Systems, Mission Architecture, Sensor Processing and Analysis, Cyber Solutions SBIRS Space-Based Infrared System Ground Architecture
Topic Strategic and Missile Defense Systems Vice President and GM, Scott Keller Customers, USN, USAF, DARPA, MDA, UK Royal Navy Products, Missiles, Hypersonic Reentry Vehicles, Kill Vehicles, Battle Management Software, and Directed Energy Weapons Terminal High Altitude Area Defense THAAD, USAF ICBM Reentry Systems Trident 2D5 Fleet Ballistic Missile FBM Lockheed Martin continues manufacturing responsibility for the current model. Deployed with the U.S. Navy and Royal Navy. Targets and countermeasures Unarmed ballistic missile targets used in testing of the elements of the ballistic missile defense system. Topic: Heritage programs. Airborne laser test bed (ALTB) beam control, fire control system. DARPA Falcon Project Falcon. Multiple kill vehicle (MKV). Exoatmospheric reentry vehicle interception system. Homing overlay experiment. Polaris Poseidon Trident I Topic Special Programs Vice President and GM, Catherine Toby Customers, Undisclosed Products, Classified Missions Topic see also Airbus Defense and Space Boeing Defense, Space and Security Newspace Northrop Grumman